Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install World Edit in Minecraft 1.15.1, specifically how to get it on your server in Minecraft 1.15.1. And then later in the video, once we do have World Edit installed, I'm going to be going over it a little bit, showing you a little bit of how it works and things like that once we do get in game. So we're going to be going over all that in today and more. But first, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love it so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you were looking for a great Minecraft server that you can quickly and easily install World Edit on, you can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Now, first and foremost, I am assuming that you already have a server set up. Now, this must be a bucket a spigot or a paper Minecraft 1.15.1 server. If it's not bucket, paper, or spigot, it's not going to work. It's not. Okay, it's not going to work. Luckily, we do have an in-depth tutorial on setting up a server in Minecraft 1.15.1 running bucket. As you can see here, it actually says 1.14.4, but our 1.15.1 tutorial comes out before this tutorial comes out. I'm doing a lot of recording before Christmas, so that means that uh, this video will be for 1.15.1 by the time you make it to this page. But nevertheless, this is already updated for 1.15.1, our tutorial down here, and it goes over all of it and allows you to um, go through and set up your own bucket server. Paper and spigot are the exact same way. All you will doing that's different is changing the names of the jar files. That's the only part that's different in setting these three uh, servers up. But nevertheless, once you have your server set up, we can get World Edit, and you can find World Edit in the description down below. It's the second link down below. How to start a bucket server is the third link down below. So this tutorial right here is the third link down below. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get World Edit installed at the second link down below. So once you're here, it kind of gives you an overview of what World Edit can do. It can fix grief, quickly replace or delete thousands of blocks in seconds, level an entire mountain, and replace it with a natural looking terrain. It can do so much. Generate spear, cylinders, cuboids, forests, pumpkin patches, all of that can be done very quickly and easily with World Edit. Now once you're here, you want to click on the file button here. And that's going to take you to all of the World Edit files. I mean, since 1.6.1 and even before that, if you click on the next page. But what we want is the top version up here currently for 1.15. If you're watching this years into the future, it might not be the most recent version. But nevertheless, here it is for 1.15 is our game version. We just want to come over and click that gray little download file button on it. It will then download in the bottom left down here. And it's safe to keep it as long as it does say World Edit at the beginning. As you can see, it does say World Edit. So we can keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left. On Mozilla Firefox, it's going to pop up in the center of your screen, and you'll need to save the file. It's 100% safe to save the file as well, as long as it says World Edit in the title. So, nevertheless, let's go ahead and minimize our browser here. And on our desktop, we do have World Edit that we downloaded. If it's not on your desktop, it's going to be in your Downloads folder. To find your Downloads folder, click on the little Windows icon for me. It's in the top left of my screen. But for you, it might be in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in Downloads, right like so. You'll then have this Downloads file folder. Folder, click on that and then you'll have world edit in this folder drag it to your desktop just for ease of use now as you can see I already have our bucket 1.15.1 server set up I went over how to get that and where to go find that tutorial to get your bucket server set up earlier in this video but go ahead and open up your bucket server you'll have this plugins folder here double click on that plugins folder and then just take world edit and drag and drop it into that plugins folder now we can go ahead and double click on the run.bat file and it will open up your server with world edit installed actually you'll see it load up world edit over here here in a second which is kind of cool if you ask me so as you can see it's setting up the server the server is running craft bucket version yada yada there you go worlding world edit was in there it moved pretty fast but this is all to do with world edit here but nevertheless Let's go ahead and click on our plugins folder here. And in here you will see all of the stuff that you need. So as you can see, there's world edit and there's the world edit folder that it created. Double click on the world edit folder and then you can double click on the config.yml file here to basically see all the different config options of world edit. Now I'm not gonna be going over all these really and truly you don't have to edit them unless you're making World Edit public. If you're just going to allow World Edit for like you, the owners of your server and maybe the head admins and things like that, people who are opt, then you don't have to ever look at this. But you can see what the disallow blocks are. Basically, these are blocks that can't be World Edited in. And then you can remove these, by the way, if you want to add in like maybe some cooler stuff as well. And then you can go through here and just go through all of this. There's nothing really specific that uh, I would recommend 
changing in the world edit config, but it is important and cool to look through it. Now, one thing I will say is you don't see schematics here, right? I'm gonna show you how to create schematics once we get in game, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead, open up Minecraft here, and just from the Minecraft main menu, navigate over to multiplayer, and connect right on in to, you know, our server here. So once we're in game, I'm in, hold on, there we go. Let's go ahead and do slash slash wand. Everything you do with world edit is done with this, the slash slash wand. Now you might need to op yourself in your server, so come over and do op and then your username in the console, just op space your username and hit enter and that will op you in game. I'm already opt though. Then you'll be able to do that slash slash wand command to get our wooden ax here, which is the world edit wand. Now, at this point, how do you use world edit? What do you do? Well, the first thing I wanna do is kinda of go ahead and make a clear area for us to kind of work in here. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to just replace all of these trees and everything through here with air. You might be like, what? Yes, I'm gonna replace everything through here with air. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this block and that's gonna set our first position, right? So, sorry, left click to set our first position there. So we're gonna left click on that block and that's gonna set our first position. Then I'm going to go ahead and go into creative just because I wanna be able to fly. And we're gonna fly all the way over to here, right? And just like a random block up here, like the highest block we can find, this one. And I'm going to left click over here to set our second position. So we're right clicking and left clicking to set our first and second position. So right click to set our second position and left click to set our first position. Then once we've done that, we can simply do slash slash cut. So I'm gonna do this slash slash cut and that's going to remove all of that. As you can see, we now have a pretty clear area here to work in. Except, I don't really like the look of this. I think I would rather go ahead, come back over to here, and we're going to left click right here to go ahead and set that first position. And then I'm gonna fly all the way over to here. And this time, instead of clicking somewhere to set our second position, right? Instead of right clicking to set our second position right here, whatever, I'm actually gonna go down to about this level and just do slash slash POS two. And what that's going to be is slash slash position two and hit enter. So as you can see, we click to set our first position, but we use command to set our second position. And then we can do slash slash set and then we're gonna go ahead and set this to, I don't know, dirt, and then hit enter. So now, as you can see, we've got this huge dirt platform that we can use and basically create anything we want to with world edit on. I don't like the top of this though, so we can come over here, right click to set our second position, come over to here, and then left click to set our first position, and set this to all grass, right? But what if we wanna say, let's make a little diamond block sort of a setup in here because why not? So let's go ahead and real quick, just place a few diamond blocks. What if we only wanna replace the dirt here and we don't wanna place our diamond blocks here? How do we do that? Well, what we would do is make our selection, which we've already done, and you would do slash slash replace dirt. And then what are we replacing dirt with? Grass blocks. So we wanted to replace dirt with grass blocks, right like so, and hit enter. That's going to replace all of the grass blocks or all of the dirt with grass blocks, but leave our diamonds here. On the same token, we can actually come in here and replace all of the diamonds, but leave the grass blocks. So we're gonna click here to make our first position, we click here to make our second position, and then we wanna go ahead and slash slash replace, all right, all of the diamond block with emerald block. Boom, and that's not going to touch the grass on the outside of that selection. So that's a pretty cool thing. So basically, we've went over setting positions. We went over cutting, which allows you to remove a big area there. You can actually paste any cut that you have as well. So I could do slash slash paste and it would paste all that, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna cover copying and pasting here in a second. And we went ahead and replaced blocks there and just replaced certain blocks without touching others. So let's go ahead and copy and paste. So first off, let's just show off world edit a little bit by creating ourselves a little bit of a house. So we're gonna go ahead and click here. And then I'm gonna come over to here and do slash slash POS two, set our position two. Then we're gonna do slash slash set wood, right? And I'm sorry, I guess I should do oak planks. So let's go ahead and do that, boom. So we've got this little bit of an area. And then I'm gonna come and create our second wall here, boom. Set that as oak planks. And then we'll go ahead and create our third wall. Just making a quick little house all with world edit. Oh, see, and there was my issue there. I didn't set that top block, so that's kind of funny. So what we wanna do is fly up here, slash POS2, and then set that. 
Then we want to go ahead and connect these in the front by doing that and setting that. So there you go. See, boom, quick and easy, all by just making selections and setting that. We've got ourselves a little bitty area. That would have taken so much longer if we had done that just in vanilla Minecraft, right? But boom, we've got walls for this house. Now, what if we wanted to do something a, a little different here? And we wanted to, let's say, have a glass roof, right? How would we do that? Well, you could use the set command there, but I don't necessarily want to do a true glass roof from like this block to that block. So what I want to do is just kind of come right here and then we'll do slash POS1 right here. So we're going to do slash POS1 and then I'm going to fly over to here kind of into this block and do slash POS2. Then I'm going to go ahead and set all of this to glass. Boom. So there we have our glass on top without using our mouse. We're able to set all that. And um, yeah, there's, there's, so many, there's so many options here. Now, let's say we don't like the location of this house. We want to move it. And so to do that, we would come over here and we would left click here and then come over and make a selection over here as well. We'll just do slash POS1 to do that. Boom. And then we want to copy and paste this. So to do that, you need to select where you want to copy. So it's important to know that wherever you stand is wherever it's going to paste at. So if we go ahead and do slash slash copy here, looking right at this block. And then, right, I just take turn around, walk forward a few steps, and then do slash slash paste. It's going to paste right behind us, actually. Sorry. Right. Slash slash undo. Right? So you can undo if you mess something up in World Edit. But let's say we then want to come over to this side of the house, excuse me, and go forward a few blocks and then paste it in, right? However, right, that, that works, right? That's exactly how it was. We were looking at the exact block that we were at there. What if though you do want to paste it over here? Well, you can do that. What we want to do is slash slash rotate and then do like 180. And that's going to flip it all the way around, right? Or no, that's going to flip it that way. So what we want to do is then come like right here. Let's say we wanted to paste one of these right here. We could do slash slash paste and it would paste it. I was wrong. 180 did flip it all the way around. I am horrible at this. Can you tell that I'm a very, very good at like degrees and things like that? So we can go ahead and paste that right here now because we flipped that selection, right? That's why we can do that. So there you all have it. That is how you can copy and paste in Minecraft using World Edit. Just slash slash copy slash slash paste and it's going to paste from wherever you were standing. So that is an important thing when copying and pasting in Minecraft using World Edit. Now there's one more thing I want to cover here. And this is by no means everything with World Edit. If you come, if we zoom back out here and come back over to our, you know, plugin page in the description down below, you will be able to see that if you scroll down, there is a wiki here, right? So as you can see, you can scroll down and there is a docs page. Click on that, click here to go ahead and leave spigot and here is all of the documentation. As you can see, click here to see all of the World Edit commands. We're not going over half of it here, but I wanted to go over some of the most popular stuff. So if we come back into game here, let's go ahead and set a wand. So I'm just gonna give myself a wooden shovel. This can literally be any kind of tool that you want, but then we're gonna go ahead and take this wooden shovel and I'm gonna go ahead and do slash slash brush, right? And then there's so many different kinds of brushes here, but my favorite, favorite kind of brush is the first one, apply. Then you can choose whether you want it to be a cuboid, a cylinder, or a sphere. I'm gonna start out with just do the cylinder here, and then you can set what you want it to do. Do you want it to make a forest? Do you want it to be an item? Or do you want it to set something? We want it to set, and then we want it to set a block. So I'll always do this with like diamond or something. So we're gonna do it with something a little more boring this time. And I don't know, let's go ahead and do gold blocks. It's a bit more boring than diamond blocks. So now this is going to replace, right? By doing the sill, right, C-L-Y there, it's going to replace blocks. So if we go ahead and click on that, it's going to replace all of these. Now what's important about that and what's cool about that, and all we're doing, by the way, is right clicking. Anywhere we point our cursor, if we right click, it's going to replace blocks. Now, it will do this in a cylinder motion. As you can see, it replaced the blocks there, but it did it in a weird way. So we can undo that, boom. Um, oh, undo, there we go. <laughs> So we had to undo twice, but it's actually even replacing, as you can see, directly under these houses that we built as we're building around them. So that's pretty cool. And uh, this can be a very useful way to just like replace, a, build a pathway or something like that. Like imagine if we're coming over this way and like building a pathway as we go along. And that looks really good, right? That, that, that's a nice golden, golden pathway there. However, there are two other kinds of brushes. So if we come in here and this time we're gonna do slash brush, space apply, and do a sphere, right? a sphere and then we want to do set 
And then let's do this time, I don't know. We'll do something a little more boring, actually. We'll do like birch logs because that's gonna look hideous. And then we go ahead and again, right click. This time it's going to make a circle of birch logs. And as you can see, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can make a massive birch tree with this if you wanted to. Kind of break it out this way and do all sorts of stuff with it. Put leaves on it later. I mean, this is a huge tree, obviously. But um, yeah, so you've got many options with this here and using the World Edit brush. But it's always something I like to think about and always like to do uh, talk about when I do a World Edit video because it's so unique and so different, right? I mean, look at that. That was just created in 30 seconds hundreds if not thousands of blocks placed there so great stuff there that is world edit and that's how you can add world edit and download and install world edit in minecraft 1.15.1 on your server if you have any questions let us know in the comment section down below and be sure to check out all the world edit commands via the download page linked below if you have any more questions or issues like that let us know in the comment section down below as well but my name is nick this has been the breakdown thank you all so so much for watching and i am out peace